Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to contour your face like a pro. I literally get hundreds of these messages every week about people wanting to know what do I do to actually make my jawline and my cheek area look more contoured, look sharper, look more tighter and much more refined. So stay tuned and I'm gonna share with you my tricks of the trade. Okay, so I'm gonna run through with you my makeup routine. So basically, this is going to create the illusion um, with makeup of a tighter, more lifted jawline uh, and more luminous cheeks. Uh, I'm really wanting to have much more of a contoured look. Right now, I have just got my foundation on, uh, so I haven't applied any contour or bronzer or any highlighters or anything like that yet. Um, so basically, eyes and my lip gloss are on, my foundation's on, but it's all one color, so I'm looking a bit washed out at the moment. So watch this, and uh, this is how easy it is to do. And I love it, it's my favorite. It's my favorite thing to do, I love it. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna pop a bit of bronzer, and I've just got it on a little bit of a brush here. I'm gonna look directly into the camera here. Now, I'm gonna pop it, just along underneath that top line of the bone, of your cheekbone. So that just goes there, sort of a little bit of light, sort of fluffy, look, you can already see the difference between that side and that side. So, step number one, underneath the cheekbone, go down from the hairline, so make sure that you actually get it right into the hairline too, because you don't want it to sort of stop here and then you got, you know, your white skin there and then brown skin there, so, Hair, um, where it stops, that's where you're gonna start. And go all the way down to, just before you get to the, the lip area. So we'll do the other side as well. Should be pretty quick and easy to do as well. You shouldn't really waste too much time. You know, I've gotta get my whole makeup done in about 10 or 15 minutes from start to finish. So this is gonna be really, really a very quick process. Okay, so the next little bit, I'm gonna pop it a bit more. And this is gonna go on the sides of my temples and onto the top of the hairline on the forehead. And this just creates a smaller frame in the face, much more of a sun-kissed look as well. So you can see that. If you can see it, you just need to sort of mix it in a little bit more because it's got to blend away and look like nothing. So I always give my tip of my nose a little bit sort of shortens the nose. Okay, and I'm also gonna pop it on my chin, just on the very base of the chin there. Now, this is the part that a lot of people don't do, which I love doing, because it does just give you this really nice, strong jawline. So I have got um, more of the bronzer on my little brush here. And I'm gonna sort of stretch my face, and I can see where that line is there and I'm just gonna follow it. And sort of just give it a bit of a darker shadow. I hope you can see that on the camera there. That's just like literally giving my face a little bit more tone. So you can see that there. It doesn't look as fabulous as this side, <laughs> but we're gonna even it up now, so it's gonna be okay. So I'll just do the same thing, stretch out my skin. Get it right on that line. Again, so there you go. It's pretty quick and easy. Make sure that you do sort of blend down your neck as well, because you don't want to have sort of this dirty big dark line and then uh, and then white again. So everything's all about blending. Don't forget your ears as well. Ladies, my gosh, I see so many of you forget your ears and it just is a dead ringer that you haven't done your makeup properly if you've forgotten your ears always put a little bit of powder um, and the bronzer definitely can go on the ears as well so so you can see what we've done here we've done around the temples and around the hairline just to give that sun-kissed look we've done the cheekbone so underneath and how you locate that is that you actually get your fingers and feel like mine finishes there and you just apply it right underneath the bone so there you go now if I move my um, skin out, uh, I don't know if you can see that line there that I've painted on with the bronzer, but it does just help to give it more of a sculptured jawline and it makes your face 
look much slimmer which is you know never a bad thing so so just finishing now with the little peachy color on the balls of the cheeks see that gives it a lot more voluminous look a lot more healthy sort of glow um, yeah I always sort of do that so just something that I love because it just gives another dimension uh, to the contouring now I'm going to do so there's a few areas where highlighting can go and this is definitely going to help the chin and the cheeks and the jawline area always look much more healthy much more refined much more tighter um, and much more youthful as well so I've got a little palette here and I'm just going to use the gold sort of version so you can see that one there and all I'm going to do is just pop it on the top of my cheekbone here so you can already see that little one look at the shine on that compared to that side amazing so I'm gonna go again actually I'm just gonna look in my little mirror while I do this so again with the little gold highlighter just right on the top of the cheekbones and it just gives that beautiful luminous look to the skin and you can see just how that little bit of highlighter just does make that whole section look much more tighter, much more glamorous, and it's very on vogue at the moment to be highlighting and contouring. So if you haven't started doing it yet, get onto it now. You know, I'm really somebody that's very lucky to have been in the beauty industry for more than 20 years. So for me, um, I get to try a lot of different uh, other treatments um, that are available throughout the world. Um, and there's one of my favorites, which has definitely helped with uh, the jawline tightening and the cheeks uh, tightening and lifting look, and that's old therapy. A bit of a flashback to when I did do old therapy treatment so you can see what I'm talking about. So these lines on my face and on my neck is where I'm gonna have treatment. How exciting. So I'm having the old therapy treatment right now. And it's pretty easy, really easy. I expect it to be more. Yeah. Look at this beautiful Lillian. Not doing a great job on me. Look at all the marks on my face. So it sort of feels like a little slight sort of sting, but nothing major, that's for sure. I honestly expect it to be far, far worse than this. This is nothing, it's one out of 10. So this is what the treatment or the machine looks like when it's have it guys that was the old therapy treatment that I had done many many months ago now um, I'm a very proud woman in her 40s and I love looking after my skin whether that be with makeup or having uh, aesthetic treatments like the old therapy treatment um, you know the ultrasound treatment was so easy uh, and it definitely made a huge difference for me so around the eyes the cheekbones and the cheeks and definitely around the jaw and the neck area for me it's been marvelous so uh, i look forward to getting more of your questions and requests for uh, beauty hacks uh, so send them through and until next time guys enjoy